uh, let me shift over to the audios, which you're doing now. Uh, they've been extremely well received, uh, both as, in terms of uh, popularity, but also in terms of the quality of stories. Um, how do you feel about the scripts that you're getting, and uh, uh, you know, do you really enjoy getting a new one in the mail, and ooh, let's do another one? I do actually, yes. Um, I, I usually read them pretty quickly after getting them, and then don't look at it again until I do it. No, that's not true. Um, uh, yeah, because there's usually a preamble, that's a really good script by so-and-so, and it's about so-and-so, so I do like to... Yeah, you know, I usually get straight into having a read, and any new job you do is it's yeah you know, quite a voyage of discovery, uh, reading the first you know, for the first time a new script, and I've never I haven't been disappointed yet. So you like where they where the writers have been taking uh, your doctor in the uh, I think in the audience. I think they're immeasurably better than uh, the scripts that I did when I was playing the doctor, the ones by the alleged professional writers of the BBC. I mean they're all good writers, but. Um, I think the focus of um, uh, Gary and Jason is so strong in getting this right that they do a lot of, w of work on getting the scripts right before we see them, and it pays off. It must be fun to work with uh, some of the other actors that you work with, even on other shows, or when they bring in Bonnie Langford. Uh, uh, this, does it, do you all sit around and go, oh, remember when we were back on... Or do you oh, just no, get really, on with we, it? We just get on with it. Yeah. Um, yeah, there isn't a lot of reminiscing going on. Um, you, you kind of take up where you left off rather than go back. And th that's the joy of my profession is that, you know, you might not see something for ten years and yeah, as soon as you see them again you kind of slot back into the old routine. You know, what you've been doing, how you are, you know, okay, let's get on with the work. And you have a few laughs. Now the, uh, um, in addition to the audios, uh, you have been known to pen uh, an occasional uh, Doctor Who piece. Uh, it, can we hope for any more? In the future, from maybe, oh. <laughs> I have been asked. So uh, it's finding time. I've got so much in my life to do, mm -hmm. but finding the time to uh, write a story, um, and also, I suppose there might be an element of, am I good enough? You know, uh, it's all very well saying, yeah, I'd like to do one, but I'd, I'd hate it if I wrote a story and Carrie said, I'm sorry, it's not no good yet. We're not doing it. Mm. That would be humiliating. So I've got to make sure, <laughs> got to make sure it's right. So the rest of the time is right. Well, it's wonderful that you continue to enjoy meeting uh, with the fans. And uh, um, over the years, the uh, I think the perception of uh, the Colin Baker Doctor has uh, really fleshed out. I think people have really finally started to see what you were doing. Um, I always thought from day one, and I, I first saw you. Before you'd even started, you came to a, an American appearance yes. uh, in costume, but it hadn't really started. Down in Florida? Yes. Yeah, yes. I remember that one. And uh, the, uh, uh, I always thought, now there's an actor who knows exactly what he's going to be doing. Or were you just fooling us? Yeah, uh, <laughs> you, you had a very yeah, clear yeah, idea of how to play the doctor? Yeah, I think from I did, yes. Yeah, the, yeah uh, I think so. Uh, the, uh, was it a part that, you, oh, that you'd wanted for some time? or? It never occurred to me. Never occurred to me to, to to want it. Who suggested that you first? John Nathan Turner had asked me to do it, so he was the one who thought about it. Um, I didn't go up for it, I and mean, it wasn't up for grabs. Because you, you had been in a Doctor Who prior. Yeah, and as a result of that, I assumed I was then out of the equation. If anybody had said, "Would you like to be it?" Well, I can't. I'd say. I remember saying it when I was offered the part of Max Hill in Ark Infinity. Oh, it means I'll never be the Doctor. And I just said, "Why?" I said, oh, "I remember reading somewhere that they don't cast." The Doctor in Doctor Who from any actor who's been in it before. Well, John seemed to want me sufficiently to uh, ignore that. I'd like, very nice. I'd like to ask you a question about uh, Pat Trout, the uh, first Doctor I saw. Um, but uh, you worked with him on The Two Doctors, of course. Yeah. Um, and from all accounts, you got on very well with him. The, uh, um, but it, I remember Pat talking uh, about the way he and John worked, John Pertwee, working so differently. Uh, that it was not causing tension, but they worked very differently when they were approached to do the three doctors and the five doctors. Uh, when you were working with them, did, was there any, I do the doctor this way and you do the doctor that way, none of that? It's like any other acting job, turn up and play your part. And <coughs> he was, I, I got on, as I did with John Pertwee, because I did um, one of the Bill Beggs videos with John Pertwee, and he and I got on incredibly well, and I wasn't expecting to. I thought it might be difficult, but um, he kind of warmed to me, and we got on really <laughs> well. And ditto with Patrick. I mean, I, I'm quite an easy person to get on with, um, and I, I'm quite happy to 
you know, bend myself to fit in with them. But I didn't have to too much. You know, Patrick is just a, a proper actor. He acts. And as long as you, you know, plan your work as well, then it's fine. It's an aeroplane going over. We're near an airport. I may, I may have to ask you a little bit more about Patrick so we can fill that in a, a, a bit. But, um, um, well, uh, that leads me very, actually, naturally, to the next question I wanted to ask you. You followed John Pertwee uh, in the stage play. I did. Uh, Doctor Who, The Ultimate Adventure. Uh, did John ever come see you? Well, do you not? Do I don't you think knowledge? he did. I don't think he did. No. <laughs> I, I went to see him. I saw him on the very first night it opened. Because when the play opened in Wimbledon in 1989, I knew I was going to be taking over from him four months later, because he only wanted to do four months. And... Uh, so I went to see it, and it was chaos. It was absolute chaos. He, uh, the, the lights went up on the TARDIS, the doors opened, and then the lights all went out again. So John Pertwee made his first entrance in total darkness. He was really hacked off. <laughs> it was very funny. Uh, <coughs> so, yeah, I enjoyed doing that. The, uh, yeah, I was going to ask you. Now, that was, ra I mean, uh, Doctor Who stage production is obviously quite different. Yeah, uh, and, it, and it was a kind of musical. Um, it, it, was, it was a different genre and required a different... And it was trying to appeal to a wider audience, right. um, and it did very well. And we, we, I was doing it through the summer. John did the kind of autumn and spring, and I was doing the summer. And it was very hot, I remember. So there were one or two theatres where it was a bit empty because on a hot summer's evening, people didn't want to go and watch Doctor Who. And um, you, and you were in a heavy coat under all those. It, it was lights. a lighter one, actually. It wasn't the it wasn't the BBC one. Oh. Uh, I'd love to know what happened to that costume because I've, I've never seen it since. Hmm. The. Uh, uh, the, uh, you've done some other um, shows beyond, uh, right after you left Doctor Who, you did um, uh, Young Sherlock Holmes? No. Am I remembering that? No, I didn't. What was it I was thinking of? The Steven Spielberg thing. Oh, oh Indiana Jones. Jones. Thank you. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Pardon me. Sorry to contradict you so bluntly. No, nope, no, didn't do that. Yes, I did an Indiana Jones. I played General Chauvel. Yeah. And we filmed, it was bizarre, really. We filmed, I mean, bit, there was scenes where the parts of the same scene were filmed in Czechoslovakia and Turkey, and it was the same scene. Yes, but the bits were filmed three months apart. Hmm. Um, uh, yeah, I enjoyed that. That was fun. I have done a huge amount of yes, bits uh, and pieces. I haven't done anything really major and long term. Is there anything in, in particular since you've left Doctor Who that, that you would point to and go, oh, you know, that was... I enjoyed doing The Knock. That was a BBC series about um, customs officers and... Um, the, you know, the investigative branch, you know, stopping mm -hmm. smuggling and, uh, in my case, you know, the importing of counterfeit plates. I was a forger and we filmed in uh, Morocco, which was great. And the really irritating bit was, I, I was in it for about four episodes. It was this guy who managed to always stay one step ahead. Everybody else got caught except the guy who was, you know, making the plates. And uh, in the original script, I got away with it, which meant I could come back in another series. <laughs> and uh, the customs excise advisers objected because they said you can't let people like that seem to get away with it so they had to catch me at the end which was a shame but i enjoyed doing that <laughs>